Welcome back, guys. For today's dive, I am, of course, in my favorite spot of Dowin. And I'm heading to a dive site called the Pura Vida House Reef. But first, I gotta meet up with a friend who just arrived from Cebu. So, welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I got another credit challenge to do. And say hello to my little friend. Hey, Jake. Oh, hello. no, this, this isn't Jake. This is uh, Paul. Oh. Yeah, this he's uh I found him. Oh. He was yeah. I found him over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh isn't that right? No, don't look away, look away. Hmm? <laughs> Critter hunter. Okay, it's Jake. Yes, Hi. it's my dog. It's Phil Snow. He's We're here. here. We're in town. Finally here. And I can challenge him face to face to the critter challenge. I don't know what we're gonna find, but dude, you finally, you finally arrived. Well, it's been a dream of mine to come to Darwin and see all the muck, critters, different creatures, because I'm so used to the corals in Cebu. So I wanted to change the typography. Is that the word? Yeah. Yeah. See a different type of diving. So I'm very excited to. Do do my first dives here in Darwin. So man, I got something to show you. It's basically a, a critter bucket list. So let's go check that out. <laughs> okay, so we've actually been speaking a lot, me and Justin, before I arrived here. We've been chatting on Instagram for probably over a year now. Or yeah. pre-COVID, I think. Actually. It's been a while. I think you were locked down in COVID and you started seeing my videos, you're like, Dude, I gotta do that. I gotta come over and we're just, I'm right there. We can look at Cebu, Necros is here, and we couldn't even make it over. But yeah, finally, seriously, it was so strict to come here. Not necessarily to go there, but it was so strict to come here until now, he finally made it. He's like, screw it, I'm going, and he, he made it. So if, you go, if you're thinking about coming here, it's, it's possible. So yeah, yeah the, the procedure is very, easy you can go to Sepo without any documents but coming to Dawen you need COVID test and medical health certificate and a booking to be able to come here yeah so at least it's possible now we finally we've been talking forever what we're gonna do and we can finally do it and I'm pretty excited because obviously I watch your channel as well and I love what you can do with the wide angle slow motion uh, stuff you've been giving me tips on that area um, but like you like as you know i'm into the little tiny critters yeah and so you went all out right you went and got my dream camera basically a7s3 yeah uh not a camera housing video lights with snoot uh the whole work so yeah i had to uh, have a operation the other week uh, one of my livers has been donated for yeah, that yeah. purchase yeah <laughs> so <laughs> Or kidney, kidney. <laughs> kidney, yeah. I, I, liver, they don't want your liver. <laughs> but, dude, he is set up for macro. Now he's in the macro paradise with the critter hunter. <laughs> I just I just said my name in the first person. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we, dude, it is my mission for the next months or however long to show you some awesome critters. And that being said, I made you the ultimate critter bucket list. So mm. we're gonna go diving today. Maybe we'll even find some, but mm -hmm. we're here at Sea Explorers uh, House Reef, I guess you call it. Yeah. At Pura Vida. And so who knows, it's gonna be, it's not my muck go-to site, but check this out. I got pygmy seahorse, thorny seahorse, cause you said you hadn't seen one in a long time. Robust and ornate ghost pipe fish. I mean, this list, if you cross off any of these it's gonna right. be awesome <clears throat> candy crabs we're gonna set you up so it doesn't matter how long it takes you'll have epic footage of candy crabs yeah i'm super excited for right all those so we got a pretty good bucket list we want to try to accomplish in the next month or maybe even a year because i might relocate here that's the ultimate plan but in the meanwhile while i'm searching for stuff we of course are gonna do some diving and what I we were speaking yesterday and I think we we're gonna rank number one just to give you guys a little bit sneak peek 
the ultimate one to find here is the hairy frogfish, right? That's are we that's, ranking that number one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. It, it's we're not in Alala, we're not in Lembe, so that's it's a challenge. It's, it's a challenge for me. Mm. It, it's frogfish season now, but I haven't seen him. In, I haven't seen a hairy in two years. So, <laughs> Alex, you guys know my guide. He he seen him last week. So he saw it last week. Yeah. Yeah, he saw him. He knows where to go, but we went there. We didn't see it, but we're gonna keep hitting these spots. And I mean, fingers crossed. You know how diving is, but yeah. if we never see a hairy frogfish and we see everything else, it's gonna be insane. So yeah, it's and <laughs> we're gonna go diving right now, and you'll see how much different I dive. Um, you know, I, I I don't go far distances looking at as much reef as possible. Sometimes I'm just stuck in the mud for 45 minutes filming a little tiny leaf sheep or something. So <laughs> that's what it takes to get awesome footage of these little dudes. So yeah, it's going to be the, uh, for me, it's going to be a completely different mindset of filming because I'm so used to the wide angle, big lights on each side. So now it's going to be slow paced, really searching, thinking about where you're going to put the camera down if we're able to. Usually it is because it's mock dive, right? Hopefully. So it's going to be different mindset, different angles, and uh, I think probably a lot more challenging type of filming. So I'm very excited for that because it is, I, I but always I think, like challenges. Yeah, but I think you're you're the guy for it. I've, I mean, I all your other videos you've mastered, even the diving, the wide angle slow motion. You made that trash picking up trash look good <laughs> in that one video. So. And then you really blew my mind with that frogfish thing. Anyways, you guys probably seen it, but yeah, I think a little bit of time with me, you're gonna be you're gonna be way better than I am. So Ooh, I wouldn't say that, but we'll we'll try our best. It's not a not a competition to me. We'll make we'll make him an honorary critter hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think we're gonna jump in the ocean, do a couple dives, just see what we see, no expectations here. And then we're gonna hit it hard in the next coming days and really start crossing some stuff off our list. And at the end of the video, you'll see our maybe top 15 of where, what we're gonna try to find. So yeah, put I'll, a list I'll there. put it in the, yeah, okay. Stick around until the end of the video. Yeah, all right. Let's go dive. Let's go, man. So on our first dive together, I wanna give Finn a little intro to muck diving. This muck diving is a critter's paradise and it's where I film 100% of all the cool critters on this channel. There's no big beautiful reefs where I go, just the sand and the mud and the awesome species. Here you can see Finn filming an anemone out in the middle of the sand, but what he's really filming is this little porcelain crab. So of course I had to go film it after him just to see what he's seeing and this is what it looks like. Of course, at the same anemone, there's other shrimp like this that are glad to let me film them. Also on another anemone was a rock with a bunch of little eggs. And you guys know I like to film little Nemo eggs. These guys look like they're about to hatch. I really like the green moss or seagrass, whatever that stuff is around these eggs. It really made the video pop with these cool little colors. And of course, you can see their eyes inside the egg. They're obviously about done and ready to hatch. We found this weird spider and apparently it's just called a sea spider. It looks like a normal household spider to me. I don't know if Finn got footage or not, but mine's not great. Later on in the dive, we come to some artificial reef, which has tons of fish. Not really a muck diving site, but tons of beautiful fish nonetheless, including these lovebirds. But of course, I still find my critters, like this banded pipefish. He was inside a little hollow, kind of a cave in the rocks. And these guys are quite common, 
but I wanted to see if he had eggs. Now with my new camera and macro capabilities, I'm pretty fascinated with finding little tiny fish eggs. Eggs or not, these guys are so cute and he didn't seem to mind the camera. Most of the time they're way more shy, so since he was letting me film them, I took full advantage. But if you look closely, this male has a bunch of eggs attached to his underneath, right on his belly. I'm working my way closer and closer, hoping he'll let me film those eggs, because I've never got a shot of those. And let me tell you, they're tiny. Here I'm a little bit closer. He's getting used to me and don't really care. My light lighting up his little cave. Ah, there's a little shot of it. You can see all the eggs on his side. I'm being so patient just trying to film this without bothering him or scaring him or getting too close or touching him. And it's starting to pay off. I've never got a shot like that. These are even smaller than the Nemo eggs. Look at that. When I put it in slow motion and I got a clip of him swimming a little bit vertical, I got a shot of his eggs on the underside of his belly. You can even see the eyes of some of the little pipefish inside. So at the end of our dive, I found Finn just filming in the sand, as happy as can be. I'm pretty sure we're crossing some bucket list items off this dive already. So like we said earlier in the video, we put together the top 10 critters to put on Finn's bucket list. And this is what that looks like. Of course, hairy frogfish is number one. It's going to be hard to find. Actually, none of these are guaranteed, but... If we find a hairy frogfish, we'll both be happy. Stay tuned for the next episode where we do another dive and cross more critters from the list.